Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about Slovenia, more precisely about how to move to Slovenia. And here are the topics we're going to cover in this video. Firstly, we're going to do a little overview of Slovenia, then we're going to talk about residence permits in Slovenia for EU and non-EU citizens. Then we're going to talk about getting a residence permit in Slovenia by opening a company, followed by getting permanent residency in Slovenia, moving on to Slovenian citizenship, and finally the advantages and disadvantages of living in Slovenia. And before we start the usual talk, you already know it, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description, and most importantly, subscribe! Let's start! So, where is Slovenia? Slovenia is a country in Central Europe, and as a matter of fact, it is one of the youngest countries in the European continent. It became independent just in 1991, after the collapse of Yugoslavia. Actually, Slovenia was the first country to break away from Yugoslavia, and this helped the country greatly to improve its economy and overall quality of life. Other countries that were dragged longer in the Yugoslav wars had much harder times to rebuild their countries and economies. Today, Slovenia is a full European Union member and among the smallest states in the EU. It joined the bloc in 2004, together with Cyprus, Slovakia, Malta and some other countries in Central Europe. It is also a member of the Schengen area, meaning that, in normal circumstances, there is freedom of movement for the people inside this area. And finally, Slovenia is also in the Eurozone, meaning it uses the Euro as its currency. Presently, Slovenia is a highly developed nation, member of the EU and the Schengen area with a stable economy and currency. Needless to say, Slovenia is a highly desirable place to reside for its quality of life, attracting many young professionals, investors and even retirees to the country. Now let's talk about what matters. Residence permits in Slovenia for EU and non-EU citizens. We're gonna start with the easy part, which is getting a residence permit in Slovenia if you are an EU citizen. If you are a new citizen, you can just come to Slovenia without much planning. If you want to stay more than three months in the country, you need to register your stay. You will need an address to register your stay, but this is a pretty straightforward process. You don't need to get a visa or deal with embassies before actually coming to Slovenia. If you are a non-EU citizen, however, in Slovenia, like in any EU country, it is much harder to actually get residency. Slovenia does not offer many options for non-EU citizens, but it is still possible to get a residence permit in the country. The most common types of residence permits in Slovenia are for employment or if you have a family member in the country. For employment, it is easier to get a residence permit if you are a health worker or if you have a high-paying job in sectors like IT and finance. If you are a citizen of a Western Balkan country, which is not part of the EU, it might be easier for you to get a residence permit in Slovenia than for other non-EU citizens. We will focus on options if you are an independent businessman, an investor, a digital nomad, or if you want to live a passive life and retire in Slovenia. And here comes the best option for all these categories. The easiest way to get a residence permit in Slovenia as an independent person is by opening a company in the country. However, opening a company per se is not enough to make you eligible for a residence permit in Slovenia. As a non-EU citizen, you will still need to meet one of the requirements that I'll list now. You either have to hire one EU national for six months or have a monthly turnover above 10,000 euros per month during six months since the company started. Or the best option, which is invest a capital of at least 50,000 euros in your company. The option of investing 50,000 euros is the easiest and the fastest one to get a residence permit in Slovenia, as it will involve spending less on taxes or having staff. Also, for a new company, it may be hard to actually get a 10,000 euro turnover right from the start every month. The 50k euros option is also good if you want to be a self-employed person or a retiree. If you are a retiree, for example, you can use the money invested in your company to buy real estate and rent the properties. This way, the company will have activity and you will have grounds to renew your residence permit in Slovenia year after year. And if you stay long enough in Slovenia on a temporary permit basis, you will eventually be able to apply for a permanent residence permit. In most cases, after residing five consecutive years in Slovenia, you will be able to apply for a permanent residence permit. The permanent residence permit has a number of advantages compared to the temporary one. 
The main advantage is that you don't need to reside in Slovenia most of the year in order to renew it. The renewal is also not necessarily on a yearly basis for the PR. And the last step to reside permanently in Slovenia would be Slovenian citizenship. If you want to get Slovenian citizenship by naturalization, consider the fact that getting citizenship in the country is harder than in most countries around it. In normal circumstances, you will need to live in Slovenia for 10 years to be eligible to apply for citizenship. From those 10 years, the previous 5 years to the application have to be of continuous residence. Apart from that, you will also need to renounce your previous citizenship if you acquire citizenship in Slovenia through naturalization. However, there are a few exceptions to that. Getting citizenship in Slovenia is usually harder than in most countries in the EU. Slovenian citizenship is comparable to getting citizenship in Austria, but harder than Italy or Hungary, for example. And now we come to a very important part of the video if you want to reside in Slovenia, the advantages and disadvantages of living in the country. And we will start with the advantages. The first advantage is the location. Slovenia has one of the most privileged locations in Europe. If you live anywhere in Slovenia, it will be just a few hours drive from a vast number of interesting places, both for business as well as for leisure purposes. Italy, Austria, Switzerland, Croatia and Hungary are just some of the places easily accessible from Slovenia. Second advantage, safety. Slovenia is one of the safest countries in Europe and the capital Ljubljana is one of the safest cities in the European Union. While this is also partially due to the fact that the country is pretty small, the overall stability of the country contributes to a high level of safety. Third advantage, stability. Slovenia is part of the EU inside the Schengen area and in the Eurozone, as I have mentioned before. While this in itself has a lot of advantages and disadvantages, the greatest advantage of being part of the EU, the Eurozone and in the Schengen area is that the country is highly stable. Next advantage, most people speak more than one language. Slovenia ranks among the first countries in Europe in which its residents speak English as a second language, just behind some countries in Scandinavia. Apart from that, usually Slovenes speak their own native Slovenian language and most of them also speak Croatian, while some of them speak German and Italian. Slovenia is a polyglot's paradise. Last advantage, nature. Despite its small size, Slovenia is blessed with some of the most amazing natural landscapes in Europe. It has a seaside on the Adriatic, as well as amazing alpine mountains. There are even plains in Slovenia. Slovenia really offers the best of Europe in a very compact geographical area. And now we get to the disadvantages. Every place has disadvantages and Slovenia is not an exception. First disadvantage, taxes at a personal level. One of the biggest disadvantages of living in Slovenia full-time is the tax system. While corporate taxes are somewhat reasonable at 19%, Personal income tax is quite high in Slovenia. It is comparable to its western and northern neighbors like Italy and Austria. If you want to live in the region and pay less taxes at a personal level, countries like Hungary and Croatia currently offer much lower rates at a personal level. The second disadvantage of living in Slovenia is that the country in itself is quite small. Even Ljubljana, the capital and largest city in the country, is still a relatively small city and one of the smallest capitals in the European Union. While this is not an extreme problem as you can easily drive from anywhere in Slovenia to larger cities like Vienna in Austria, Zagreb in Croatia or Venice in Italy, Slovenia is definitely not the ideal place if you want to have a cosmopolitan life in a big city. The last disadvantage of living in Slovenia is its cost of living. When compared to other Central European countries in the region such as Hungary, Croatia or Serbia, the cost of living in Slovenia is significantly greater than in those other countries. At the same time, it is still somewhat lower than Austria and Italy. That's it for today's video. Write down in the comments section if you would like to move to Slovenia or visit the country or if you prefer some other country, write also a comment explaining why you prefer this country as opposed to Slovenia. And to end the video, the usual gibberish. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation, call with me, the link is in the description. Let's plan your immigration strategy together. And most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.